Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Golan Bodybuilding. Mountain. And today I want to talk a little bit about how to gain strength, but from a different point of view, from a different direction. And what I find a lot of times, and, and this was just spurred by another comment in one of my other videos, where a guy asked me, he said, Jason, did you ever do strength training in your bodybuilding career? Like, did you ever feel like you should be doing some sort of strength program specifically? And my short answer on that is no. What I was always trying to do is find the perfect blend between the two worlds of hypertrophy and strength. I didn't necessarily differentiate between the two disciplines. Although one could argue that you could specialize, right? We've talked about heavy lifting and not going to failure when you're going into these heavy lifts and trying to refine that groove. But what I noticed was that when I was going heavy and going to failure, of course, say I was doing four reps or five rep sets, I noticed that doing that often would just destroy my progress. I would almost move backwards. And what I found was that there was this beautiful synergy between using heavy weight and then lighter weight, then medium weight, then maybe medium weight again, then some heavy weight, then some light weight, mixing it up based on how I feel in the workouts. And what I'm getting to is that I gained a tremendous amount of strength using this sort of format in this sort of way. So you can see it in my two day splits on my website and my super high frequency training programs. These are the ways that I train. Now, the point I'm trying to make is, is that using excessively heavy weight in a pyramid type system or five by five is not necessarily the only way or even the most effective way to gain strength. One thing that I found was that gaining strength happened a lot faster as a side effect from higher frequency. Basically, I was refining the groove, not necessarily doing massive volume, possibly less volume than ever before, three sets, four sets, five sets, in a two-day split sort of format, and varying the reps, maybe down to eight reps on a set sometimes, sometimes it's 12 to 15, sometimes 20. And from doing this, I noticed I gained a lot more strength. So then I started repping out with sets that I normally could only do five reps with because my body was so acclimated and so full of glycogen from the constant pumping and the motion of that exercise. And as long as I was conscious of not breaking down the denser tissues too aggressively, such as from going too heavy or doing an excessive range of motion, my body put on strength much more effectively than if I would have lowered down my frequency and did a long, uh, pyramid type training system. I did pyramid the weight as far as I went up to see, oh, what can I lift for about five reps today? And I would pyramid up and wait. 
but really where I found my strength started to really go up fast was when I was using higher frequencies, messing around in the anywhere from the seven or eight rep range to the 20 rep range for the most part. And that is where I put on the most strength. So did I do a strength training program? I would say yes, but not the strength training program you're talking about. And the reason why is because I found this way of training was more effective. I was getting more results than when I was doing super heavy days or I was doing just straight pyramiding up in weight, you know, for six or seven sets till I get to, you know, a set that I can do only three or four reps with or something, right? So that's one thing I want to say. I, I find that when you're going too heavy, it's actually counterproductive. It can actually work against you. Now, this is not the same for everybody. So I do encourage you to try your own way. I'm not saying you have to do it my way, but what I am saying is do not underestimate the law of high frequency because it is extremely effective if uh, the right combination of, of physical principles are at work. So say your genetics is, is right for it and you find that you can you know, hit the gym and hit the body part two or three times a week and find a comfortable volume in that so that way you are recovered by the time the next workout comes around. It's an extremely great way to train. Now, if you haven't tried it, I recommend you try it. I do have the workout programs on my website, uh, but in the end, you will have to personalize these things at some point to find out what is uh, the best possible thing for you. Mountain. So yeah, I hope this helps you in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get hold of me, just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and take care for now. Oh yeah, and thanks to the Patreon supporters. On Patreon, I'm doing a podcast every week, only five bucks a month, and you get to tune into that, so I will see you on Patreon. The link is in the description. Mount. Natural land.